By the end of 2025, OpenAI will deploy more than 1 million GPUs to help them perform all kinds of computations. That sounds pretty unbelievable, right? But CPUs are also very powerful, so why don't they use CPUs? To answer that, we first need to look at AI and how it actually works. In fact, AI itself doesn't really think. All of its understanding and responses are essentially just mathematical calculations. For example, when you input a sentence or upload a picture, AI will first convert them into numbers. These numbers represent features like shapes, colors, and even tone. Then AI uses these numbers and performs calculations with the knowledge it has previously learned. This knowledge is stored as a set of numbers called weights. AI multiplies the input numbers by these weights, then adds them up layer by layer until it finds the most important information, and only then does it generate an answer. This whole process is actually just constantly doing addition and multiplication. And this happens to be exactly what GPUs are good at, because GPUs were originally designed for graphics processing, to calculate things like coordinates, colors, lighting, pixels, and so on, all relying on basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Inside a GPU, there can be thousands or even tens of thousands of cores, which can process massive amounts of numerical calculations at the same time. That's why the speed becomes extremely fast. In comparison, CPUs have very few cores. Although each one is very powerful, what they're best at is logical judgment and process control. But when it comes to AI, it doesn't require that much decision making, but rather needs to perform a huge number of calculations simultaneously. So that's also why GPUs are so widely used in AI computing. 